Let's take a look at how we build out a partial mesh network or a hub and spoke frame relay network. As the name implies, there is no full interconnectivity between the devices. So what is emulated by the, the frame relay cloud that allows full layer three connectivity between the devices is actually this hub device in the middle of the communications between router two and router three here. We can see that router one is acting as our hub and in order for router three to actually talk to router two, it'll be sending all of its communications to router one and then over to router two and the same vice versa. Now for this example, we will be using the physical interfaces on all three devices, it's the same, serial one slash zero. We will be on network 10.0.0.0 slash 24 using the simplest possible IP uh, schema there, dot one for router one, dot two for router two, and dot three for router three. At layer two, our DLC addresses on router one are 102 and 103 going to router two and router three respectively. On router two, we'll be using DLC 201. And on router three, we'll be using DELSI 301. So let's get to configuring. Now on all three devices, we're gonna start off doing pretty much the same type of configuration. We're gonna be going to the physical interface. We'll shut it down, add our encapsulation uh, type. We will also turn off frame relay inverse ARP, apply our IP addressing and we will then enable the interface and stop at that point. Do the same thing for all three devices. Okay, now we have all three devices configured uh, with frame relay on their serial one zero interfaces, but we turned off inverse ARP, so there should be no dynamic mappings uh, on the devices. And you can see here that, in fact, there are none. We do actually uh, show frame map. We do have PVCs active on these devices. If you do a show frame relay PVC on the device, I'll identify your active PVCs. Let's try this one again. Okay. Once the interface comes up and LMI actually begins communicating, we'll get PVC actives. So good indicator that LMI is working well, uh, working properly to the frame relay switch. Now to actually get active mappings in frame relay, to get this output to actually populate, you go back to the physical interface and you add static mappings to the devices. The command is frame relay map IP then you're going to be mapping the layer three interface to the layer two, or the layer three address to the layer two address, um, just like Ethernet would. Ether, in Ethernet, you would use ARP, and ARP ties the layer two MAC address with the layer three IP address. Here in Frame Relay, you're tying the layer two DELSI to the layer three IP address of your destination. So here on router one, or our hub device, we're going to be mapping the addresses to router two and router three. We'll start with router 2, 10.0.0.2 on DELSI 102, and we are going to go ahead and attach the broadcast keyword. We're also going to do the same thing pretty much for router 3. And just change a couple characters here. 10.0.0.3 on DELSI 103. If we take a look over at our drawing here from RSU 1. DELSI 102 
maps through the frame relay switch to 10.0.0.2 on RSU2. From router 1 on DELC 103, it will map through the frame relay switch to 10.0.0.3 on RSU3. Now what does our show frame relay map look like now? Because they are statically defined, they will go ahead and populate here in the, t the table, and LMI is repeating back that those DELCs are available. However, when we ping 10.0.0.2, we're not going to get a response. And the reason for that is because there's no return path back. So these, these frames are actually making it over to Router 2, but Router 2 does not know how to deal with it. If we enable frame relay debug frame relay packet and log to the console, we can see that those frames actually show up back here on RSU2 where we have the debugs enabled. Now we can see the reason why um, RSU2 is unable to respond is because there is no map entry for the link. So to fix that, we go ahead and add our static mapping on the serial 01 interface, excuse me, serial 10 interface on RSU2. On RSU2, our mapping to 10.0.0.1 is on DELC201, and we will apply the broadcast keyword to that entry. Now let's go ahead and add the map entry to RSU3 as well. And take a look here that we're using the same exact DELC that we used to 10.0.0.1. Remember, just like an ARP table or a CAM table on a switch, um, you may be using the same layer 2 address to get to your layer 3 destination point. Um, let's say it's your gateway. Your gateway's address is always going to have the same uh, MAC address. If uh, uh, dep What's going to change is your layer 3 destination IP. Um, between those devices, provided that you use your gateway to get to those destination IPs. In this case, DELC201 is the only DELC uh, possible in this frame relay cloud, and we use DELC201 to get to RSU1 or 10.0.0.1. We also use DELC201 to get to 10.0.0.3 off of RSU1. Also, we're not going to be applying the broadcast keyword here because broadcasts are always already satisfied uh, on this link with this first mapping. If you added the broadcast keyword here, you're not going to break um, any communications, but what you're going to be doing is duplicating uh, the broadcasts that are actually going down the link. Again, we only have one possible path here. Broadcasts are already uh, being communicated in this direction. Um, you're just going to be repeating it um, if you add another broadcast keyword. So now, if we try our pings again from RSU1, you see we have uh, successful communication. Back on RSU2, obviously we have good communication there. If we turn on our debugs again, but this time on RSU3, debug uh, frame relay packet. And we ping from RSU2. We can see that we get the same exact arrow, arrow, error, excuse me. <laughs> There's no map entry available uh, for that host. And again, we know how to fix this simply by, let's turn off our debugs, configuring the interface with the static frame relay mappings. 
We'll start with our dot one on Delphi 301. Again, apply the proper broadcast keyword. And finally do our second mapping to 10.0.0.2 on the same Delphi. And now we can ping through R1 up to R3. Uh, I'm sorry, through R1, our RSU1 to router 2. And if we try our ping again from router 2, we get a response from router 3. And that's how you do a hub-and-spoke frame relay configuration using static map.